Hello and welcome. Thank you for visiting the Rutherford School website and in particular the Stanford University EPGY program. I would like to give a brief overview of the presentation. In this presentation you will learn about the Stanford University EPGY program. You learn why it matters to you, the features and benefits of the program. You learn about the kindergarten to grade 7 math program, the language arts and writing program, the results found by this program, the program details, and finally a conclusion. Before we begin though, I would like to pose a question to you, the listener and the viewer of this presentation. Why invest in education? I'll start off by giving you an example. I'm going to give you $50,000. For example, I won the lottery yesterday and I want to give you $50,000. You can use it to invest in anything. What would you do with it? Well, you might invest in the stock market. You might invest in real estate. You might leave it at the bank. You might invest in gold. Or you might spend it. Now, let's see how that money that you invested did five years later. At the bank, what you'll find is you made $10,833. So your $50,000 turned into just over $60,000. In the stock market, you would have made $23,466. So your $50,000 investment would have grown to just over $70,000. If it was gold, you would have made just under $10,000. So $50,000 would have turned into just over $60,000. And with real estate, you would have made $10,000 833 so just over $60,000 you know that might sound good and it is but let's take a look at how you would have done if you invested that money in your child five years of education costs approximately $10,000 a year or $50,000 so let's compare student A who you've invested $50,000 in and student B who's had no investment in them at all. So how did student A do and how did student B do? Well, as you may think, student A got good grades, they were accepted into a top school, they started a good career, and most than, more than likely, when they exited school, they would have made a salary of over $65,000. Student B, on the other hand, would have gotten bad grades would have not gone on to higher education, or did but not in the top school, would have got a lower paying job out of school, and would have had an average salary of $35,000. So, what that means is student A will make approximately $30,000 more per year than student B. Knowing that, let's go to the next slide, which talks about, compares the investments that we discussed before, and the investment into your child or student A. As you can see, student A was clearly the best investment, doubling what stocks would have done and clearly outpacing what any other investments had made over that same time frame. So, what is our conclusion? Education is clearly the best investment. That is one of the reasons that us at the Rutherford Private School decided to introduce or partner with the Stanford EPGY program to provide the best education and the best investment in your child. So now that we know that education is an incredible investment, let's talk about the Stanford University EPGY program. The Stanford University EPGY program was developed by Stanford University. And as you probably know, Stanford University is located in California and is considered one of the top five universities in the world by Times Magazine. This program was developed through over 40 years of Stanford University research. The research looked into how students interacted with computers and interacted with math and English examples and questions, lectures in particular. They did this study for over 40 years and were able to compile a wide range of data and were able to, over that time, make the program really an amazing tool, an intelligent tool for children and students to use. What's also amazing about this program 
is that students have access to technologies and educational expertise from Stanford University that they otherwise may not have. The program has a strong focus on math and language arts, which is also known as English. So what was the goal of this program? When Stanford University was designing the program, they realized that it was very important to take into account that every student is unique in the way they learn, is, in the, is unique in the way they retain information, and apply that information. So when designing this program, they set out to create a program that was customized and individualized to every single student that would use it. They also set out to create a program that would accelerate student learning dramatically. In addition to that, Stanford University wanted to design a program that was not only customized to every student and accelerated their learning, but was also a program that delivered measurable, sustainable results over time. So you might wonder, how does this program really work? How is it so customized? How does it improve student knowledge over time dramatically? And how does it deliver sustainable results? Well, the program acts almost like a private one-on-one -on -one tutor in the way it interacts with the student when using the program. The technology it uses will simulate a one-on-one -on -one tutoring environment where the student will listen to lectures and then answer exercises. What's unique about the program is that it will adjust to the speed of the student. So if the student is answering questions quite quickly and understanding the knowledge or the information that's given, the, stu the program will, in will speed up to that student's abilities. On the other hand, if the student is learning slowly and not understanding the information, the program will slow down or will try to reinforce that knowledge through more exercises. So in that way, the program becomes customized to that particular student and their abilities. What's also unique about the program is the way it interacts with the student. The st program is a multimedia-based, lesson-based, exercise-based environment where students will listen to lectures, they'll interact with the computer one-on-one, -on -one, and they'll be able to use their hearing, their visual, and their dextral senses to use the program. Another thing that's unique about the program is that, similar to a tutor, the program will provide hints to that student as they move through the exercises. Another thing that's very unique about this program is that the program provides immediate assessment and feedback for the student. So as the student answers each question, they're going to receive feedback as to how they're doing on each question. That's very different than a typical homework or essay assignment when a student will answer questions and then only at the end will they know how well they did. What's also unique about this program is the way it grades the student's performance. What you'll see in this slide, in the middle of the slide, is two student scores. In the first score, you'll see there was a green right, a red wrong, and so on. Right, wrong, right, wrong, right, wrong. In the bottom, you'll see a wrong, 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 and a right, 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 right. In both examples, the student scored 50% on, on the questions. But what Stanford University started to realize during their research was that both examples aren't necessarily the same. Because in one example, the student might have guessed the questions and got uh, arbitrary right, wrong, right, wrong. But in the second example, what Stanford thought is that, hey, something clicked in the student's mind that allowed them to start to understand the concept and get the questions right. So that answer or that question or that student should have got a higher score than the student from before. This program will adjust to that automatically, and that's very unique about this program. There are two sections of this program or two areas of this program. One is the kindergarten to grade 7 math program and the other one is the language arts and writing program which is an English based program. Please continue to part 2 of the Stanford EPGY presentation.